the given line 2y plus 3 is equal to x can be written as x upon 3 minus 2y upon 3 is equal to 1 or x upon 3 plus y upon minus 3 upon 2 is equal to 1. Therefore, the intercept of the line on the x-axis is 3 and the intercept of the line on the y-axis is minus 3 upon 2. Now, we look for the points of intersection of the parabola and the line. Substitute the value of x from the equation of the parabola into the equation of the line. We get 2y plus 3 is equal to y square. This implies that y square minus 2y minus 3 is equal to 0. Solving this quadratic for y, we get 2 plus minus square root of 4 plus 12 divided by 2. This is equal to 2 plus minus 4 divided by 2. And therefore, the possible values of y are 3 and minus 1. y is equal to minus 1 is ruled out because we are only interested in solutions that are in the first quadrant. Putting it in y is equal to 3, we get x is equal to 9. Therefore, the line and the parabola intersect in the first quadrant at the point 9, 3. Now, we plot the line and the parabola on the Cartesian plane. The parabola y is equal to square root of x passes through the origin and x is always positive. The given line intercepts the y-axis at the point 0, minus 3 upon 2 and intercepts the x-axis at the point 3, 0. We are interested in the area enclosed between the parabola and the line in the first quadrant. And to determine this, we find the area of a small strip whose thickness is dy and whose length is equal to the difference between the abscissa of the line xl and the abscissa of the parabola xp and integrated between y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 3. Therefore, the required area is equal to integral y going from 0 to 3, xp minus xl dy, and since the area is a positive quantity, we take the modulus. The value of x on the parabola is equal to y square, and the value of x on the line is equal to 2y plus 3. And therefore, the required area is equal to modulus y cube upon 3 minus y square minus 3y and the limits are 0 to 3. This is equal to the modulus of 27 upon 3 minus 9 minus 9 which is equal to modulus of minus 9 which is equal to 9 square units which is the required answer.